everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. A no code solution to extract and load data from managed instance to fabric. Oh yeah, we're gonna be looking at that today. But how did we get here? Well, I have here on the screen my managed instance, and we're gonna mock up a scenario like I had within my client. And we're gonna walk through exactly how I identified the issue. So the first thing we did is we deployed Database Watcher to monitor their managed instance. And we found that this one particular query, when run by itself, was consuming about 50% of this managed instance CPU. Now, that was overwhelming the load processes. It was also impacting other applications that we had there, as well as the analytics team had an edict that they need to move their analytics workloads to Fabric. So this was the perfect time to do it. But we needed to dig a little bit deeper also to find this query. And how we found this query is up on the top of the screen here, you're going to see this top queries. We selected on top queries, and at the top of the screen there, I sorted by duration and CPU time, and we could see that this particular select star at the top was consuming most of our CPU time as well as duration on this managed instance. With the requirement to move the fabric, this was the perfect time to find a low code solution to do that. And that's what mirroring will do for us. And we'll look at that here in a bit. But I want to identify the use case so you may be able to do this within your environment as well. I ran the query over here in Managed Instance. You can see that it was taking a long time and we verified that this was truly the query that was impacting our load processes as well as our other applications there. So it's time to make the move, right? We need to get this data over to Fabric, our workspace in Fabric, with as low code as possible. So how did we do that? Well, first thing we need to do is we need to deploy some requirements or meet some requirements to do this. The first thing we're gonna do is go to our gear here in our tenant, and we're gonna go to our admin portal. We're gonna type in API here to filter some things out, and I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here, and you're gonna see in developer settings, that we need to make sure that service principles can use Fabric APIs. We need to make sure that's enabled. All right, with that enabled, we now need to make sure of a couple of things on our managed instance. We need to ensure that the system assigned managed identity has a status of on. Now, you'll also hear that referred to as the SAMI. We need to check that our SAMI, our server managed identity, is set to the primary of one. You need to have the system assigned here as shown on the screen, set to one. If you had a user assigned managed identity, that would be set to one and your system assigned would be set to two, this would not work. We need to have the system assigned set to a is primary equal to one. So we would need to delete that user assigned managed identity at this time. All right, with that validated, we have another step we need to do. We need to deploy our security. So how do we deploy our security? Well, here on the screen, you'll see that I have a create login and alter server role, create user and grant control. Now this security has already been run here and not under these Entra IDs, but I've run these ahead of time to protect my environment. The last thing we need to ensure from a requirements perspective is that maintenance and updates for our SQL engine updates, our update policy is set to always up to date. You need to make sure that those requirements are met. With those met, we can now go to deploying what you're here for, the mirroring of our managed instance of Fabric. So we're gonna make sure we're in the correct workspace. We're gonna select workspaces and we're gonna make sure that we select mirror demos. That's where I'm putting this. This is gonna be dependent upon your environment, the workspace you want to land this in, but I'm gonna go ahead and select that because that's where I wanna land this. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna select new items. Over here on the side of the screen, you can see I have a mirrored Azure SQL managed instance. Once again, this is in preview. If you don't see this here, if you don't see any of the mirroring objects or deployments, 
you don't have the your capacity set in the correct region, check our documentation for that. All right, we're going to go ahead and select that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new connection. Now, if I had connections already deployed, you would see them on the screen here, but I don't. So I'm going to select Azure SQL Managed Instance, and we're going to need to fill in some information. So I'm going to go back over here to my Managed Instance. I'm going to go to Connection Strings. Now, I need to grab the public endpoint. This is very important. Right now, we cannot deploy mirrored managed instance to fabric using a private endpoint we need to use the public endpoint right now so we're going to copy that we're going to paste that here into our server our our database name is going to be stack overflow 2010 and then we are going to create a new connection with that new connection we're going to select organizational account i'm using organizational account here and i'm going to select it i'm going to be logged in and I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. Now you could use a uh, basic authentication, organizational, uh, or a service principle there. I use organizational. All right, I'm going to hit connect. So the next thing it's going to do, it's going to go to our validation screen here. It's going to go through and it's going to validate our tables that we have in our Stack Overflow 2010 database. And on the screen, we get all green check marks. So we're good to go. We meet all the requirements for mirroring of our managed instance to Fabric. We're going to keep the destination name of our mirror the same as what the database name was on our managed instance of Stack Overflow 2010. We're going to take a walk down here and we are going to select create mirror database. This is where it gets fun, folks. We've done no code at all, right? None whatsoever. It's going to provide us this screen. It's going to be provisioning our mirror database. It's going to be it's going to provision our SQL analytics endpoint. That's what we can connect to. It's going to configure replication, and then it's going to start that replication. This will take us to our monitoring screen for our mirrored Azure SQL Managed Instance. You can see at the top of the screen, we have configure replication. We could stop replication if you need to for some reason. Then down on the bottom of the screen, you can see more about the monitoring of the replication. It's going to show us the status of running, and it's going to show us the tables that it's uh, mirroring and their status. Now, let's say I accidentally clicked off of that. We can go back to our workspace and select monitor replication here again on our mirrored database, and that will open up our monitor replication screen again. Now, there's a difference here from the previous screen, screen, right? We've started replicating rows over to our mirrored database in Microsoft Fabric inside our workspace. You can see the last completed time and the number of rows replicated. All right, after a bit of time, I pulled this report from my source managed instance and compared it to my mirrored database in Fabric. And look at that, our rows match between our source and our target. Let's click on our Stack Overflow 2010 database. We wanna have some fun. What do we wanna do now? We have our data over there. We have our mirrored database. Well, we can go up here to the query, the data, and we can open in T-SQL. This is really fun. This is really cool. Let's click on that. Over here, you can see we have our tables, our views, our store procedures, but we wanna query the data. Let's select new SQL query. Now I've copied the query that was causing issues in our managed instance, and I brought it over here to Fabric and ran it against our mirrored database. And there we go, just as quick as that. We validate our queries. The query runs successfully, right? And it runs within the SLA, and it meets the requirements of our analytics workload team to run all of our analytic workloads within the Fabric environment. All right, but we wanna have a little bit more fun with this data, right? We know we can query it. We know the original query that was causing the issues has now been offloaded from our managed instance, but let's do this. Let's go up here to reporting. This is fun. I'm gonna have some fun with this. I wanna go ahead and select new report. Now you've heard of Copilot, but let's have some fun with Copilot. So we can go over here and we can see that we have some prompts that are created for us by default. Let's go ahead and select create a new report page, right? Let's see what that does for us. Just having some fun, right? 
and it's going to create some information. It's going to create information about our tables. It's going to give us some suggestions that we can put for prompts, and it's going to give us more information. Continuing our fun, let's ask a question of our data based of off what it suggested here. Let's create a report for the top, top 10 users based on activity and engagement. We're going to go ahead and hit that paper and flame. It's flying across the room, hopefully not hitting the teacher in the front of the room. And you can see it created a top 10 users activity and engagement force. But it's not quite perfect. I want to narrow things down, right? I, I didn't want all that information there. So let's focus our data a little bit more on display name, reputation, and upvotes. All right, because I wanted to narrow it down a little bit. And look at that. We have a more focused view of our data providing us insight into it. Still not perfect, but it gives us a jump start on identifying the data we have within our database. I want to be this crisp person here with this number of up, uh, upvotes. So Copilot can give us a jump start on helping us identify the data behind the screens. And with a little help of some friends, us, we can really narrow down those reports and make them great visually and stunning for our end users. So we identified a use case, right? The use case was this. We had a managed instance. It was being overwhelmed by a particular query. We found that that query was coming from the analytics team. It was impacting our loads as well as other applications there. Plus the analytics team was required to move all of their workloads to Fabric. With no code whatsoever, we set up mirroring for Azure managed instance. We replicated our data over and we saw we could query that and get good results meeting our SLAs in our Fabric workspace. This was a fun one. I've been looking forward to doing one on mirroring for a while. You know where we like to keep this going. In the comments down below, let us know what you think. Let us know what you're looking for here in the year of 2025. And as always, my friends, be good to each other. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.